What's going on guys, Vitaito Bean is here. Welcome back to another episode of Today's in Crypto Show. Bitcoin is still around $30,000. I'm talking about still, we just reached it a, a day ago and people are like, where? Where is Bitcoin 40K, 50K? Not so fast. We have pumped and now the next level is gonna, I'm gonna show you in this video and there's so much bullish news that are happening right now in the crypto space. I wanna share with you all about it so that you are prepared for the bull market. So let's begin guys. We are at $30,000 right now, which is a significant resistance level. And I wanna show you this uh, Fibonacci retracement level. If we take from, uh, you know, before the FTX collapse right here at this point and draw a Fib retracement all the way to this bottom point, this is what it's called the Fibonacci retracement tool. You can see uh, those levels like, those white levels are exactly corresponding to where we have resistance. And look, look at this, to the T. We pumped to this exact level of 1.618 Fibonacci, 25K, then we dumped. Then we pumped to the next level, which is 30K, and then we dumped. Not much. I mean, this all looks like a giant bull flag. And then right next level that we pumped again right here, the next level is $35,800. So this is the level I'll be watching at. We might pump next to this level, $35,800. And around this level, we're going to see some pullback uh, maybe once again to the 30K level. So this is important levels to take a look at. Some traders are eyeing $28,000 retracement after Bitcoin regains 28%. I'm not ruling it out. Uh, there we might see some a little bit of uh, you know choppiness here a little bit of uh, being staying here sideways right now we are just being sideways you know um, the Bitcoin didn't dump it didn't go up but it didn't go dump it's just trading sideways around this range so this is good positive um, thing for uh, Bitcoin development that uh, it's uh, kind of accumulating at this level of 30k before uh breaking out once again okay so i'll be watching closely over the next days how we're gonna close maybe we're gonna see a little bit of a pullback and if not uh, or even if it does i'm gonna be heavily uh putting more long positions because um in this type of a market of bitcoin there's so much bullish developments happening right now uh, it's super dangerous to go short. You would rather wait for the dip and buy and go long uh, than go short, okay? Look at what, what is happening right now. Spain, $57 billion banking giant, all of a sudden start educating investors on Bitcoin. Like a year ago, it was like negative on Bitcoin. Now it's like, hey, Bitcoin, let's curious about this groundbreaking phenomenon of Bitcoin. We'll delve deeper into this a world on our digital assets 101 series. This is a bank that holds $57 billion educating about Bitcoin. This is a revolution. I've been talking about this since 2017. This is happening. This is happening. Absolutely incredible. We have the French asset manager, uh, Sai Says. I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce it. It's a $5 trillion French asset manager offering crypto custody services. The race is on right now. Who of these big money managers are going to grab as much Bitcoin as possible in this BlackRock and Fidelity Investments? Those are multi-trillion dollars. This is now a new asset manager with multiple trillions in their assets under management during the list of uh, the race, the race of accumulation of Bitcoin. All of them are going to grab as much Bitcoin as possible. We're talking about trillions of dollars. The crypto market could grow 15x if pension funds allocate half a percent to digital assets. Think about it. 15x is 15 trillion dollars if pension funds allocate half a percent to digital asset. So now we're talking about uh, <laughs> the bull market. This, this is the bull market of 2024 and 2025 that could take us to 15 trillion. I know it's hard to imagine right now where we were coming out of the bear market, but this is the time. This is the time to pay close attention, guys. Bitcoin equities ETF hits Euronext Amsterdam Stock Exchange. Now the Dutch investors have access to Bitcoin equity exchange traded fund. So on the stock exchange, 
It's happening all over the world. And even the new president candidate, RFK Jr. for the election, is going to support Bitcoin policies, quoting, I'll make sure that we have policies that support Bitcoin and the freedom to transact and that allow individuals to manage their own Bitcoin wallets, notes and passwords. I will allow only the narrowest controls that are necessary to prevent money laundering. I oppose central bank digital currencies because they are instruments of control and oppression and are certain to be abused. And speaking about central bank digital currencies that he's opposing, we have uh, this news coming out of the Monetary Authority of Singapore that they're proposing CBDC central bank proposed with collaboration with Amazon. Amazon got invited to the table basically uh, to pilot, you know, maybe paying uh, for stuff on Amazon with central bank digital currency. So there's a big fight right now. There's a big fight between the freedom and the central bank digital currencies, which uh, are trying to make its way uh, to basically to, to help us use it and control our freedom. We're not going to allow it. Now, I'm curious, MicroStrategy is now becoming profitable on Bitcoin again. As you know, MicroStrategy is holding 140,000 Bitcoin. That's crazy amount of Bitcoin and an average cost of 29,800. So right now at 30K, MicroStrategy becomes profitable again. <laughs> it's a good moment, a good moment of, of celebration. And uh, the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell advocates for two additional interest rate hikes this year. So why you should pay attention to this? Because if there is going to be more interest rate hikes around this time with the more interest rate hikes, we might see some dumps in the market, right? Uh, because this is this this interest rate hikes is not really good uh, for the companies for for individuals you know they need to pay more for their their mortgages and, and their loans etc so there's just more difficulty that is coming this year so don't be like overly excited just yet we might see some corrections we will see some corrections for sure 100 percent corrections are going to come but it's important to recognize the long-term trend the long-term trend is your friend. If I'm gonna put here the BSI. We're gonna see here, let's say on the weekly. We've been bullish ever since January on a weekly. Look at this. We printed this bullish signal that was right here with this candle, and we are bullish ever since. No bearishness on a weekly chart whatsoever. We had some pullbacks, a couple of weeks pullbacks. You know, uh, here it was about three weeks. Here it was about you know roughly eight weeks, but still bullish. Over the you, you need to zoom out. If in doubt, you need to zoom out and see what is the largest, biggest trends because this right here might trick people. This downtrend, you know, from 30k to 25k may trick people who are new, who are not experienced. They it's it's easy to be tricked and say, oh, it's going down, it's going down, the fears rising but look at look at this candle look at this beautiful candle and just shut shuts this all up if you look at a crypto fear and greed index you can see that we are in the greed zone right now baby we're in the greed zone <laughs> we are right now at 65 greed this is in the greed area right now not extreme greed but we are in the greed area so um this is a this is when a lot of people start to begin to fomo in Okay, but not a not not in a big way where we see the blow of top. It's not a this is not the peak of the bull market just yet. Okay, we still have two years to go. So this is accumulation phase, accumulation phase for the new all-time highs, and this is getting exciting. Bitcoin getting back to 70k and then to 80k. What do you think is going to happen to altcoins when Bitcoin is going to reach 100k, 120k, 140k? What's going to happen to altcoins? They're going to pump. And we can see, like, for example, with Pepe, Pepe pumped this week 79%, around 80%, leading the meme coin surge. Bitcoin went up 20%, Pepe went up 80%. <laughs> it's like Pepe is the magnification of, of Bitcoin pumps. It's pretty exciting, pretty exciting to see. Uh, and Bitcoin well transactions soared to 
highs in over three months as price exceed 30k a lot of excitement is in the air so that's what i wanted to share with you today that you know we're gonna keep monitoring what's gonna happen in the next couple of days and the next level the next level to monitor is thirty five thousand eight hundred dollars so would it be a mistake to buy bitcoin in 30k i don't think so there is a lot of trillions of dollars coming into the into the scene so it's not too late it's not too late to buy bitcoin it's not too late to buy ethereum because the bull market is coming and those are the blue chip uh, coins of course there is other smaller projects that are gonna soar way more but this is the time to pay close attention to the market i hope it makes sense i hope you have a fantastic friday and i will see you in the next episode of today's in crypto show